Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ryan Bossery from RyeWire and just a little update on the CRX. I know everybody has been uh, asking me questions about when it's gonna get done and what the latest is. And let me show you what's up. So she's sitting here under a cover and uh, not much is going on, but actually we have some updates. So let me show you. This is uh, Fred from FCB. He actually drove all the way down to Southern California from Northern California. He picked up the K20R engine and he's gonna do his FCB treatment. We're gonna do Cerakote on the whole engine. It's gonna be awesome. And I just wanna say thank you for coming down, man. Yeah, no problem, man. Help with the big project. <laughs> so, at the shop, just an update. That's the engine. And the CRX is hopefully gonna be in some videos again. I am over at Wisecraft right now, and I wanted to show you uh, Chris is working on the motor, and I wanted to show you guys progress. All right, so what we have here is the S2000 subframe and the Tesla motor installed. Uh, we are working on mounts right now. There's a lot of potential issues actually um, getting it to work this way. The easy way that people have done this is they've taken the Tesla rear subframe and they figured out how to just bolt the entire assembly to the car. I uh, definitely did not want to do it that way. This is going to be a narrow bodied S2000 and I'm really not trying to make it look um, like a retrofit. Um, not trying to say anything bad about the people that do it that way. I just don't um, like the way that the car's stance, quote unquote, uh, looks. And I'm trying to have something that is more custom tailored uh, to the S2000. So the S2000 subframe is going to get used and it's not, it's kind of, this is like a painstaking process. It is not easy to figure out how we're going to make all this stuff work together. But uh, that's pretty much where we're at. All right. So. So right now, me and Chris are talking about this rear mount. And uh, what we're trying to do is incorporate this beam to this mount and recreate a structure between these two points. Um, so that's kind of going to be the front mount. And then if you could tell here, this subframe has actually been extended out. So what we did, or what Chris did, what we you know decided to do, all right, so on this side, you can tell a little easier what we did is we actually took the S2000 rear subframe and Chris extended it all the way back. So we just basically stretched it and that gave us enough room to actually get the motor at a pretty good height. It's tucked in pretty well. It's gonna definitely be the lowest point on the back, but it's gonna be pretty close to over the wheels. So I'm assuming that it's not gonna be like dragging on the ground or anything like that. Um, and then the rear bar, you can see this is our rear mount right here. And then we have a bar welded for, as structure for the top, as structure for the bottom. And then we're gonna build a mount bracket off of that. On this side, their third mount, it's gonna be a little interesting because we actually have um, a lower arm that needs to get modified to over to here. And then I wanna say that there is something very close to this mount area. So that mount might, may have to be removed and we may have to kind of relocate that mount as a third, as the third mount. But um, yeah, we were kind of talking about this front bar. And so Chris, what were your plans for, for the front bar? I'm just gonna tie into these little control arm mounts right here and then triangulate it from the top to the bottom. Okay. And then we'll have these two connectors in between. So whenever you plan to pull the motor, you could drop that. Drop the whole thing without without it getting in the way. Okay. Should be good. Hell yeah. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. The car is still um, very, very far from being done. Uh, got a few things mounted on the sides. Um, still, we are quite a ways out here. I'm um, just starting to sort out some of the brake lines and I decided to tear apart another battery pack over here. Got some uh, body panels and a bunch of stuff I gotta go through. And this is our second pack. I started taking it apart. I got the first battery off, it's sitting right there. 
And that's pretty much where I am at the shop. I have um, the motor at Chris's shop and I just showed you guys hopefully um, that that is uh, looking pretty good. And um, yeah, more soon. I just wanted to give a little quick update.